Hi, this is Thunder E from BorderWorld.com and um, today we're doing an unboxing which we haven't done in a while. This is an unboxing of the LG Optimus G, uh, the AT&T version. You can see it's got white packaging with orange on the either end and the bottom. So let's take a look at the device. Again, we got this from AT&T. So our SIM card's already in here and we'll get to that in a second. So what do we have in the packaging here? We have some app. Uh, which apps you wish you can get on your phone by just scanning, which is kind of cool. Quick start guide, LG warranty information, got a travel charger here, and we've got a micro USB cable. That's it, no headphones, um, and that's pretty much all we have here in our packaging. So, don't text and drive campaign, which uh, AT&T has been pushing. Um, heavily and you know they are definitely right with that these people do not text and drive it is bad it's against the law in most states so let's take a look at our Optimus G here uh, Optimus G is a 4.7 inch device um, you've got a screen resolution that's 720p and of course it's a 320 um, ppi in it there so it's a very solid bright display now you've got your volume rockers on the left hand side and of course this is your bay here for your micro SD card as well as your SIM card there. So this does have a micro SD card slot. The original one which you saw didn't. Not sure about the storage in this, we'll check. Uh, should come with 32 gigabytes and it's expandable. You've got a front facing camera, it's 1.3 megapixels. Um, at the rear, you have an eight megapixel camera for this device, so it's actually eight instead of thirteen, which we saw with the uh, hands-on, which is the uh, either the Sprint version or the international version. Now, I've got this nice. Um, so just take this off first. Make sure that we have a good feel of the device. So we've got this glossy finish at the back, has the AT&T logo. And um, at the bottom, you have your micro SD card slot. And as you can see the, uh, the screws, this is basically fastened. You cannot change the battery of this device. So there's no way to actually open it up and change the battery. 3.5 mm jack on the top. Um, and that's it. So that's just a device look. It's 4.7 inches, uh, pretty solid. Your power button is on the right. So it's gonna power this on. And we'll take a good look at um, the Optimus G see if we have any juice in here to actually do that oh we might have to okay there we go again um in terms of feel i like the feel of the device uh feels feels good holding in my hands a little bit glossy in the back which i'm concerned about so it might feel a little slippery but you can see um i don't know if you guys can see there it's uh it's not smudge friendly so a lot of you can get a lot of smudge on there let's see Select language, get started, you can say cancel. All right, so here we have our Optimus G. Again, it's a quad core processor. We can cycle through. We can change our wallpapers, our apps. You can see, of course, the your buttons light up for your menu, your home, and your back. And let's go ahead and check our all settings. Network, general settings here, here we go. Okay, so let's see what we have for storage. Where is storage? Quad core controls, power saving, um, language, accessibility, USB connection. Hmm, interesting. For some reason I can't find, oh there we go. Sorry about that guys, it's right on there. So storage, we have 16 gigabytes in total. So 16 gigs, um, 11 gigabyte total space, and um, 16 from the SD card. So SD card is 16 gigabytes in total, which we, we can expand. That's that's what comes with it. We have quad core controls, which is interesting. You can do eco mode and you can balance that out. And uh, let's just see, that will help you uh, help out with the battery life. So we'll, we'll test that out and see how well this you know the device works with that. It's 4G LTE uh, on um, AT&T. Uh, you can see it's pretty snappy um, and again you can um, home screen settings you can change your home screen settings scroll utility circular portrait view only you can change your your screen swipes from either carousel to panorama accordion whichever way you want so let me try accordion there 
and it shows you how it will look. I think I like layer, so you can change that, and it's all layered now. So there you have it. That's just a quick, brief look. Um, the other thing, yeah, there are a couple other options you have with this, uh, um, you know, smartphone, which we'll get to in our full review. You do have your quick access, uh, how to use quick memo, so you can actually take a, um, you take a screenshot of something, and um, so we take a screenshot of this. And then we can actually use quick memo to jot down on there. If I just briefly swiping down, tap quick memo, and boom, there you go. So anyway, we'll get into full details of the LG Optimus G, see how well this device pans and works, and uh, we'll give you our full review in the coming days. So till then, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Thank you very much, and um, always enjoy entertainment.